everyone, it is me, I am back with another video and what's this? You wanna know why you see my face today? Well if you read the title you'd understand because today I'm going to be doing a challenge that has probably been done to death but I think it sounds pretty fun. Today I am doing the blindfolded drawing challenge. Thought it would be a bit of fun, a bit of Bit of laughs, I don't know. So that's why we've got the face cam today so that you can see that I'm not cheating. You can see that I'm gonna be blindfolded. I went out and bought this little watermelon face mask thing just for the occasion. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for today, I am going to be using a pencil and something to outline with and I don't know maybe we'll do colors I'm really not sure I'm kind of scared <laughs> alrighty so I guess I'll put the blindfold on and we'll see what happens <laughs> how many fingers am I holding up I don't know so I found my pencil and I think I'm going to start off by drawing my character Archie maybe I haven't drawn him in a long time he's like my uh, main character, but I haven't drawn him for centuries, so this will be interesting. So I usually just start with a circle and some guidelines, and I already don't know where my guidelines are, so they're not helping whatsoever. <laughs> um, and then he's got eyes, and one of them's an eight ball, and then he has another eye. And his nose is like really crooked, because it's been broken, so got that nice crooked nose and then he has a smiley little mouth my sketches are always very rough compared to my line art so we'll clean this up in a second and he's got the um, square jaw and big ears with little stretches and he's got floofy hair like my old haircut. Do you like my new haircut? Pretty snazzy. He's got a neck. He's got broad shoulders because he's a buff boy. We'll give him a t-shirt with some stripes. And I almost forgot his freckles. You cannot forget the freckles. Okay, so that's the pencil work done. I'm assuming that this is the pen that I picked up for outlining. And yeah, we're just going to follow our sketch lines very neatly, neaten the whole thing up. It's gonna be gorgeous. So we're just outlining his eyes right now. And oh, I forgot his eyebrows in the sketch, but that's okay because we can just put them in with our line art. Nothing stopping us from doing that. And then his nose. And his freckles. And we got that mouth and the gap in his teeth and then we're going to outline the outside of his face and give him some hair, some ears, thick neck, broad shoulders, stripes on the shirt. Done! Now, I think I should colour. I have some markers off to my left on the desk somewhere and I don't know where, but I don't want to like spoil the drawing for myself so I'm going to like blindly feel around. <laughs> They're not in any particular order, so God only knows what colours <laughs> I have here. Okay, that's the brush tip. That's good. I just got marker all over my hand. I feel like I'm shaking, like why is this so nerve-wracking for me? And then. I guess we'll just do his hair. Knowing my luck, this is probably like black or something. I don't even know. So that's his hair and I'm not doing his skin because that scares me. And then we're gonna do the stripes on his shirt. This can be the other stripes on his shirt. And I think we're done. Done and dusted. <laughs> wow. I love my selection of colors that I came up with. Is this his eye? Is this his eye right down here? Oh my gosh. I mean, the shape of this eye is really good. That's like accurate to what his eye shape is, but 
the rest of it. What a mess. Okay, so this time I'm going to try and make it a little bit easier on myself and I'm going to pick out the colors that I need beforehand so that we don't end up with what we ended up with last time. So Monty's color palette is essentially green for his hair, blue for his eyes. He usually looks good in purple, so purple for his shirt and this pale pasty color for his skin. So hopefully that will work out in our favor. I'm gonna shuffle them around once I put my blindfold on so that there's still that element of danger. Uh, I haven't drawn Monty in ages either, so <laughs> start with our guidelines as per usual, even though they're useless at this point. He has a really pointy nose, like a triangle. He's gonna slice you with it. He's got thin eyes. His eyebrows are on fleek, always. That's just the way he is. And his mouth, he's got a smile, missing tooth. And oh, he's got the scar across his nose. And he's got quite a pointed jaw and pointy ears. He's just a pointy boy in general. And he's got very curly hair. I think I just gave him Emilio's hair by accident because that's what I'm used to doing, but whatever. I'm sure it won't hurt him. Shirt and Monty likes his collared shirts and it can have love hearts on it. Beautiful. Now it's time to outline. Oh no, I think I lost it. Is this a marker or? No, this is our pen. We've done well. Now we're just gonna outline because we know how well that goes. It's like just starting from scratch essentially. There's his eye. Trying to use like my spider senses here. Them eyebrows on fleek. Get his little scar happening. His mouth. I just gave him the wrong mouth, but that's all right. And then we do the outside of his face. His little pointy ears. And I like to put a little dot in his earlobes because he has his ears pierced, but he doesn't wear earrings anymore. And I just did his hair pointing in the wrong direction. So let's use the eraser function of this pen. Hope that that got rid of it. And then we'll do it the right way. Now it's time for coloring. Where'd I put the colors? We're going for a green for his hair. I also purposely chose colors that are a little lighter than, um, than his normal color palette because I don't want to like accidentally cover up the line work, our beautiful line work. So this is gonna be the purple for his shirt. I feel like I'm holding less colors than I had before. And this is going to be his skin. And then we need the blue for his eyes because he has the most gorgeous blue eyes. And then you just go like that. All right, I think we're done. I think he looks gorgeous. Christ almighty. <laughs> um, at least his shirt isn't skin color. That's a plus. He has purple hair, if you can call it that, but maybe, maybe this is the universe telling me Monty needs a change. Maybe, maybe he should dye his hair purple. I think that's an absolute masterpiece if you ask me. Okay, so next I'm going to try and draw a dare. I don't have a color for his hair, so we're going to try our hand at some blending this round. That's gonna be interesting. And he's got sort of greeny gold colored eyes, so this one's good enough. And he looks good in blue generally, so. And yes, let's get started, eh? So Adair, he's got his face. And, oh, he's got a beard. Ugh, this is gonna turn out horrible. He's got kind of a straight nose with a bit of a bump in the, this part. I don't know what that is. And then he's got some eyes. His eyes are kind of sad. There we go. He's got the thick, sad eyebrows and he's got a little frown line and but he's smiling and then he has some 
curvy cheeks with some freckles on them. And he's got that double chin happening. Cause he a thick boy. And he's got some ears with little piercing holes. And he's got curly hair because I don't know, I have a thing for curly hair on my characters. I just I always give my characters curly hair for some reason. And he's got his neck, his shirt, and he's a thick, thick boy. There we go. Now it's time to outline. Gonna go straight in with his nose. I feel like if I did this long enough, I could master it. I could develop like a sixth sense or something and I could master this. And he's got his mustache, which I forgot to sketch in. Freckly cheeks, double chin with a beard on it. Did I do his ears already? Probably, but we're gonna do them again. And then he has his neck and his shoulders. Yeah, you know, we can just color over his eyes and his teeth. He doesn't need them. So that's his skin. We're just blocking in colors at this point. Um, I'm going to put his skin color over here so I don't use it again. And then for his hair, we're going to do our base layer for his hair and then we can start blending in the other color which is this one nice blending some perfect blending here very good and then for his eyes get out of it his eyes And finally, one color left must be for his shirt. There we go. Our beautiful boy is complete. Wow. Oh, oh my God, look at his eyes. His eyes are pointing in two different directions. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good at all. Although his mouth doesn't look too bad. Like if I was doing a quick sketch, that's probably how his mouth would look. His eyebrows look pretty good too. They're just in the wrong place. Like I've, I've got general shapes down pat. They're just not in the right place is all. Righto. Gonna put my blindfold on. Gonna mix my three colors so that I don't know which is which. Okay. Rightio. Start with our guidelines. They're the easy part. And then his nose. Hello? Hello? Okay. Can I outline his nose? I used to always start with the eyes in drawing, but now I tend to start with the nose. It's probably why my characters all have such big noses, but I love it and I'm not gonna change for anyone. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I forgot his freckles in the sketch. That's all right. I'm gonna give him that jawline that he deserves, that curly hair. There we go. And some shoulders, some collarbones, and some chest hair because he is a hairy boy. <laughs> and I think that's the line art done. Now I need to find our markers. I'm feeling this one for his skin. Let's go. Brush nib. We're on the right track already. Alrighty. I'm gonna try and avoid his teeth and avoid his eyes so that we can color them in properly. There we go. Gorgeous. Put that one over there so I don't use it again. This one I'm feeling is his eyes. Bam, bam. So that must mean that this one is his hair. I'm feeling very confident about this. Oh, I forgot his eyebrows. There we go. Alrighty. <laughs> There's like a whole new face in his face. His hair, the shape of his hair, very accurate. I think that's just down to muscle memory at this point. Um, 
and the same with the shape of his eyes. I did that well. And his nose is very good shape. So I've, I've got that all down to muscle memory, but what really let me down is uh, just the placement of everything, I guess. And this is a masterpiece right here. <laughs> so this is the absolute mess that we ended up with. I can't even identify them at this point. We've got Archie and Monty and Adair and Emilio. If this is the first video that you've seen of mine, hello, welcome. Um, I swear I can draw better than this, just stick with me. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter how they ended up, it's all a bit of fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, I certainly did. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, put them in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!